guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? It is Wednesday, June 17th, 2020, and I am coming on here because I have a lot of stuff to show you guys. Uh, for everyone who's new here, my name is Rose. I like to crochet. <laughs> um, I live in the Chicago area. And I have a daughter whose nickname is Carrots. We have quite a few animals that live in this house. And um, I have a Facebook group. You guys should come on over. Um, you can follow me on Instagram. And I also have an Etsy shop. So let's get down to business, okay? I have a few, I guess you would call them administrative things to talk about before I show you all the good stuff. So the first thing is, speaking of the Facebook group, um, we are doing a virtual craft fair over there. So what that means is if you sell something, if you have an Etsy shop or a Facebook page or a website where you sell items, crafty items, it could be, project bags, stitch markers, crocheted items, whatever is related to crafts. You can go on over to the Facebook group. You have to be a member. You have to answer three questions to join. They're really easy. And then submit a post. And every day we are approving one post so that no one gets overwhelmed. And that way everyone can go and check out your Etsy shop and see if there's anything that they would like to purchase. So please come on over, join the Facebook group. Um, by the way, everything I talk about today, there will be a link in the description box down below. Okay, so that is the virtual craft fair. The next thing on the agenda is Stitches Midwest. So for those of you who have been following me for a while or who know anything about yarn shows, Stitches Midwest is going to hopefully be held September 3rd through the 6th, and it's in a suburb of Chicago. So uh, last year, I actually uh, got to meet a couple of really cool people there. I got to meet Marley Bird. Um, I got to uh, sit and have lunch with Lori Lulu, and she also has a podcast here. And we met a couple of, of our subscribers and had lunch with them too. It was so fun. So anyway, mark that on your calendar as a tentative date for Stitches Midwest. So speaking of the Etsy shop, I just wanted to let you guys know I'm doing a little bit of de-stashing. Um, right now I have some yarn for sale from my personal stash up on my Etsy shop. And the yarn, some of the yarns I have for sale right now are some mandala cakes and some Karen Simply Soft. Um, so if you are interested in any of those, um, go on ahead and check out the Etsy shop and see what you can find. And the uh, last administrative update I have is for wings. So for those of you who are new here, um, this channel and all of you guys are helping a, an organization, a domestic violence organization called Wings, and they are based here in the Chicago area. And we are uh, crocheting items for them. So we are crocheting dishcloths, washcloths, uh, kitchen scrubbies, uh, we have an item of the month uh, for the summer. We don't really have any items of the month because it's summer and it's hard to have hats and stuff like that for, for donation. Um, but what we are trying to start doing is uh, start collecting items for back to school. And I wanted to give you guys an up, a quick update here. I'll also update you on the next Wings video. Um, we can make pencil cases. Um, we are not making backpacks. Um, they will not accept book covers um, just because they don't use them as much and they have an abundance of them. And for anyone who is interested in donating school supplies, um, she asks that you wait until they have a list ready. Um, they usually do get some big donors to donate school supplies. So until she knows what she's getting, she doesn't want you guys to go out and purchase anything to send. So, and she's also hoping, hoping to update her Amazon wish list too. So for those of you interested in donating school supplies, just please hold off for, uh, for a little bit. And the other thing that you are more than welcome to send is I am collecting six and 12 inch granny squares. It can be any color, uh, preferably acrylic yarn, um, any 
pattern that you want, um, either six or 12 inch squares. Um, we have already donated, I think like five or six blankets. Um, so I appreciate that you guys. Um, I also wanted to let you know that I have something going on behind the scenes. I'm calling it the blanket brigade. Um, I have one, uh, I had one person who sent in a bunch of little tiny, like one inch squares and I don't have the patience for that. So I sent that off to someone who offered to help put that together. So hopefully that'll could be coming back pretty soon. And I also have another YouTuber here. Um, I'm not gonna say her name yet, but she commented on my last wings video and said she would be willing to help put some squares together. So I just sent her off a box. She should be getting it this week. And, um, and I really appreciate um, everyone offering to help. Um, the thing is, is I don't want to ask too many people, you know, it costs me money to ship it to you and then you have to spend money to ship it back. So i um, trying to keep that on the down low. Hmm. Okay, so speaking of blankets, the, the first thing that I want to show you, I don't actually have it, but I did finish a blanket for wings and it was made with donated yarn. If you guys saw my last wings video, you already saw it. It was a granny ripple that uh, apparently I don't know how to follow instructions for. <laughs> so it turned out that the ripples, instead of going horizontally, they went vertically because I made it too long. Anyway, that got donated. I dropped that off last weekend and um, it was made with some yarn that some people donated uh, to me and some of my own yarn. And actually I'll insert a picture here so you guys can see what it looks like. The next blanket that I actually just finished putting together was made with donated 12 inch squares and the person who sent me the squares, uh, you know who you are when you, when you see this blanket because it's all from the same person. So it was really easy to put together. Um, I used this big ball of Endless Impeccable, look I still have that much left you guys, um, to join the squares and I'm going to show you what it looks like. It's really big, so I don't know that I'm gonna be able to show you the entire thing, but I'm gonna show you a little bit. First of all, look at these squares, you guys. So it's really long, and these are all the same colors going down. So I'll just show you going across. And it was so easy to put together because all the squares were the same size made by the same person. And it is a twin size, and I actually have one of each color left over. So those squares will be going in another blanket. But in order for you guys to see what the whole thing looks like, I am gonna insert a picture here. So that blanket is gonna get donated next. I'm so excited, you guys. Okay, so now those of you might be wondering what my shirt says. <laughs> Are you guys ready? Hold on. Yarn. So I actually got this shirt um, at Stitches Midwest last year and it was from a lady who was selling yarn and uh, I will um, link her channel down, her, she does have a channel here on YouTube. She also sells hand, and she makes all this beautiful yarn. Um, me and Lori Lulu also, we, we both bought the same shirt. So we're gonna do happy mail next. You guys, I got a few things in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> I really need to do like another like yarn order from somewhere, but I haven't seen any really good sales. Uh, I know Premier has their mystery bags. Um, like I think they're one pound mystery bags and they're 10 bucks. Um, but I've gotten mystery 
bags that were a pound for $2.99. So I'm kind of cheap and I'm not going to get any of those. <laughs> but anyway, all right. So this first thing is not Happy Mail. I actually made this purchase. Now, the lady I made the purchase from uh, is her uh, company name is called The Silken Spider. And how I found out about her is through Z, Zelda NRJ3. She and uh, this guy named Willy Nilly Knits um, have been collaborating on videos and Instagram and stuff like that. And his wife hand dyes yarn and she is called the Silken Spider. So I follow her on Facebook now and I saw this skein of yarn and I had to have it. And you guys will see why when I show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is her husband's card, Willy Nilly Knits. I'm just covering up the phone number. I will put the information down below for the Silken Spiders web, uh, Facebook page. And um, she's also on Instagram, as is Willy Nilly Knits. So um, I just don't wanna give out their phone number. But anyway, you guys. Da, 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 da. Do you see the colors? Holy schmoly. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Now you guys know I had to have this because it's purple and the black is just, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. So thank you so much, Silken Spider. I believe her first name is Alicia. It is absolutely stunning yarn. So I'm gonna need some ideas on what to make. Obviously, whatever I make with this will be mine. Maybe a hat? be so pretty. The rest of this is all Happy Mail and I did a swap. So I'm going to show you some Happy Mail. So this package right here came from uh, the person that I actually call my fairy yarn sister. Her name is Linda and she is from Florida and she is constantly sending boxes of yarn, donations for wings. And she emailed me and asked if I was still scrapbooking. And actually I am, I just finished um, Carrot's last scrapbook. So she said she had some extra supplies and would I like them? And I said, well, sure, but can I pay you? And she said, no, of course. So anyway, she sent me a bunch of scrapbooking supplies. <laughs> you guys, this is awesome. Look at all these letters. Oh my gosh, I love, 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 love letters. I, I am addicted to lettering things in my scrapbook pages. She also sent like a bunch of Christmas things. Oh my goodness, so cute. Look at that. And a bunch of these little guys. So Linda, thank you so much for sending the scrapbooking supplies. I really appreciate it. This stuff is gonna come in handy in my next scrapbook. So not only did Linda send the scrapbooking supplies, but she also sent another box of yarn for me. So let's see what's in the box. Here's the card. Hello, darling. <laughs> and she says, hi, Rose. Hope all is well. Uh, came upon the Karen One Pounders at a steal. Added some goodies to fill the box. As always, you can keep or give away as you like. Thanks for all you do, Linda. Linda, thank you for all you do. So I'm going to show you guys purple Karen One Pounders. Oh, yeah. This is called Hollyhock. I don't think I have this one. Guys, it's so pretty. Oh, thank you so much, Linda. And then to fill the box, she gave me two of these Lion Brand Koboos. I don't think I have this color, Linda. It's called denim. Very nice. Uh, only 232 yards in each one of these, but that's okay because it's so soft. And she gave me a Yarn Bee Lux Lolly. That's awesome. <gasps> Thank you, this one's called Sticky Buns. This is 502 yards, you guys. Oh, it's so pretty. Uh, color Sticky Buns, it is a number four weight, 100% acrylic. Wow, that's nice. Linda, thank you so much. You did not have to do that, but I appreciate it. This next box is from Carolyn. And she is not that far from where I am. She also lives in Northern Illinois. And she sent a whole box of yarn. She didn't put a card in there, but she sent me some yarn before. There are some scrap balls rolled up. And then I'll show you guys what she sent. Oh my God, it was like totally full. So this is so cool. Here's some vintage Wintuck yarn. Oh my gosh, so cool. And some vintage Red Heart. Oh my gosh, so fun. 
here is some Premier Deborah Norville. And then there are two of these Yarn Bee Andy's Alpaca. Those are pretty. Wow. Um, and then we have some, I love this cotton. There's more than this. Hold on, you guys. Look at this. Look at the purple. Oh my goodness. I love this cotton. Then we have Yarn Bee Fetching Chunky. Sparkly. I love sparkly yarns. This is cool, Vanna's Glamour. There is a wool-like in there. Oh, there was two of these, you guys. There was, oh yeah, a mint fudge Karen Big Cake. I actually made my brother-in-law a blanket in using this color, it's awesome. And then here's also another uh, scrap ball. I actually have like, um, it was one of those $2.99 Yarn Inspiration bags. I have this already. <laughs> All right, and then we have this Premier Eversoft. And then there's some more of it in this color. Oh, what's this? It looks like more vintage yarn. No, this is also Premier Eversoft. It just looked different. And then it looks like there's three balls of this Bernat Softy Baby Cotton and three of the Bernat Softy Baby Cotton in this green. Carolyn, thank you so much for sending all that yarn. I cannot wait to use it to make some scrap blankets. Thank you so much. You guys, this next bag came from uh, one of my favorite people here on YouTube. I have a lot of favorite people here on YouTube. His name is Gary, and he is also called Urban Yarn, and I will link him in the description box down below. And he actually said he had a video up, um, I don't know, about a month or so ago, and he had gotten the Knit Crate that was the purple sparkly yarn. Um, I don't get Knit Crate anymore, but I saw that. And what he said is that he wanted to swap with someone who was in Canada. So if someone wanted to swap with him for a different color, then he would be willing to swap with them. Well, I guess no one responded. And I said to him, oh my God, if no one swaps with you, I'll swap with you. I want that yarn. So we decided to do a swap. I believe he already opened up what I sent him on his uh, video. I will link his channel down below. But he sent me the purple sparkly yarn, you guys. Oh yeah, you can see that. Oh, oh, thank you, Gary, for swapping. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. This is Yuru Yarn Sugared Sport by Knit Crate. And there are two hanks of this gorgeousness. Oh, yes. Um, I should let you know there's a card. <laughs> Thank you. And, um, okay, so it's a long card. Um, he's telling me about the yarn. Say hi to Carrots. He's got, he sent a few extra treats, one of which is hand wash. Okay, glued parts. Hope you like all the items. Okay, so uh, with the Knit Crate came this card. Uh, came some soak and then he also has some other goodies in here for me so let's see what they are you guys he sent me one of his handmade coasters oh Gary I love it oh my gosh I will totally wash this by hand I probably will only put water on here like a glass of water it's gorgeous you guys Gary you need to sell these in like an Etsy shop or something because they're beautiful all right, then he sent me something wrapped in purple. You guys, this is what he says on the label here. It says, two rows, hand-dyed yarn from Gary at Urban Yarn. The color is, shut the front door! Shut the front door, Gary, are you serious? <gasps> he used food color dye, clubhouse, purple, blue, red, and some gold. The video is number 50 and he did it in flat pan number two. So this is like a, a Knit Picks bare yarn that he dyed himself. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. Gary, you did not have to send me that, but I am so happy you did. <gasps> it's gorgeous, you guys. Can you even believe I have hand dyed yarn from Gary? This is incredible. 
It's gorgeous, Gary. You need to put this stuff up in your uh, in an Etsy shop too. All right, and then he sent some treats. Okay, so he sent some treats and he says on a post-it note, oh no, my Canadian chocolate place was closed due to the COVID-19 virus, but luckily the uh, international laundry store was deemed essential and was open, so he sent me some stuff. So I specifically asked for this thing called uh, Smarties. And the reason I asked for this is Debbie, the Canadian crotcheter, actually sent me some of this. And it was like the little ones that look like M&Ms and they don't have any nuts in them. And so my daughter Carrots can eat this. So I am so excited that you found this, Gary. Thank you. And then he sent one of these. And oh, wow, gold Kit Kat? What? Are you serious? Okay, this is gonna have to be eaten tonight. <laughs> so, Gary, thank you so much. You totally didn't need to send the Knit Picks yarn, but it's gorgeous. You did such a good job hand dyeing it. I'm so excited. Thank you for the Knit Crate yarn and the treats and everything. I appreciate it. All right, we got lots of finished objects. Are you guys ready? So you guys know I have a very small obsession with this shawl called the Virus Meets Granny. For those of you who have been following me for a long time, you know that last year I made like, I don't know, a dozen of them. <laughs> and they're actually one of my best sellers um, at craft fairs as well as on my Etsy shop. So I decided uh, earlier this year to go hog wild and order a bunch more colors. Um, the yarn that I use, I'll just let you guys know, uh, for most of these, is Premier DK Colors, okay? And I can usually get a really good um, size shawl out of two of these, making one of these shawls. It is a number three, and I'm gonna show you, I did, I don't know, probably another nine <laughs> shawls. <laughs> um, I, get, I get obsessed with things, and then I just have to make like a whole bunch of them. So I'm gonna show you each one and then I'll insert a picture because I did uh, take pictures of them. The first one is made with the DK colors and it's the color is called Carnation. So um, I used one and then for some reason I had that much left on the, the second ball. But here it is. It's hard to see it all, but this is a t uh, YouTube tutorial by Fiber Spider, and he's one of my favorite people in the whole wide world. Uh, hi! And so I am going to insert a picture of it here. The next one, the color is called Teal Blue, and this is what I had left over from Two Cakes. Here is this one. I love the grays in there. And here is the picture. The next one that I'm gonna show you, the color is called Splash, and I did use the two full cakes on that. This is all blues with the cream. It's so pretty. Here's the picture. The next one is called Sunshine, and this is all I had left of two cakes. This one is super pretty too. It's the yellows and the grays. I love it. Here's the picture. The next one is called Strata, and this is all I had left from two cakes. This one's gorgeous, so earth tones, grays, browns. Here's the picture. The next one is called Teacup, and that's all I had left out of the second cake. 
You guys knew there had to be purple in there, right? So there is that one, purple with a little bit of gray and cream. Here's the picture. All right, so the next three Virus Meets Grannies that I did were actually done using Premier Luna yarn. And this uh, color is called Earth. And I used, uh, I think like two, uh, uh, like two and a half, almost three balls of this. So let me show you what these, tur they turn, I mean, they look the same, it's just different colors. So here is this one. It's so pretty. I love this, you guys. Here's a picture. This next one is called Titan. And by the way, these are all three weights and they feel kind of the same as the DK colors. There is some purple in there with teal, gray. Ugh, I'm just in love with this pattern. Here's the picture. And this last one is called Jupiter. And this is purple and raspberry and like a funky blue, like a periwinkle. And here's the picture. So like I said, I have a slight obsession with the Virus Meets Granny. Um, I might not make any more of them for a little while. <laughs> So um, I hope you guys enjoyed those. Those are all up for sale in my Etsy shop if anyone is interested. Um, my other obsession is actually, uh, and if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen this already. It's uh, a shawl called the Dragon Belly Shawl. And the pattern is by Joanna Lindahl, and she also has a website, and it's called Miho Crochet, M-I-J-O. And it's a free pattern. I'll link it down in the description box down below. So for this shawl that I'm going to show you now, I used Premier Bamboo Fair, and I used three different colors. Now this, you guys, is a number three weight yarn. I will tell you that I normally make my Dragon Belly shawls in a number one weight. <laughs> so um, this was kind of a challenge for me because I had to figure out when to stop <laughs> each color. And I don't know that I actually got the ratios right. Um, but I will tell you the colors. Uh, this one is called Amethyst. Uh, this one is called Periwinkle, does not look Periwinkle to me. And this last color is called Orchid. Okay, so I used those three colors and I started out with two balls of each. So I used one complete ball of each color and then you can see what I have left of each of these. So let me show you the shawl. Oh, and I used a four millimeter hook with this particular shawl. So here is the shawl, you guys. It's quite heavy compared to the other Dragon Belly shawls that I made. I think it's because it is a three weight yarn. Um, and it's kind of hard to see the colors, but you know what? I will insert a photograph here of what it looks like. And if you are on my Instagram, you've already seen that. But here is a picture. Now let me be honest with you guys. Um, I have not ever put the border on the Dragon Belly shawl um, just cause I think it's it doesn't need it, but that's just my personal opinion. I love the texture of this, if you guys can see that. Um, I think it's beautiful without a border and I just don't ever put a border on there. But if you try it and you put a border on it, let me know how that goes. All right, I have one more shawl. So I had this color of the Premier DK colors called Rose Garden. And someone had made a shawl with this and sent it to me for wings donations for Mother's Day. And I really like the color. So I bought some of this and, and 
I was gonna make a virus meets granny, but I saw something somewhere and it was the shape of the shawl was more of like um, a rounded shape. So I figured out that it was from Fiber Spider. Hey, Fiber Spider. And it's called the Rivulet Shawl. And for this one, I used a, oh, by the way, for all of those Virus Meets Grannies, I use a five millimeter hook. Um, so for this DK Colors Rose Garden, I decided to try this Rivulet Shawl. <clears throat> Here's what it looks like, you guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love this. I am in love with this. This is going to be my next obsession, you guys. O-M-G. So I am going to insert a photograph of Carrots wearing this. Carrots, again, is my daughter. Um, it's It drapes so nice. It sits on your shoulders. Um, you don't have to worry about like it falling off. Look at this, you guys. Holy mackerel. I'm in love with this. So here's the picture. So that's a lot of shawls. I should call this video shawls, 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 and more shawls. <laughs> anyway, so you guys, that's all I have today. I am, I still have like 20 whips. It's crazy. Um, and I have no yarn coming, which is really sad. I should go online somewhere and order some, but like I said, there's no good deals, at least in my head. Um, I will hopefully have a wings update video this weekend. I have a few packages here. Uh, remember, you can send 6 or 12 inch squares. And one last reminder, there is this thing going on called Christmas in July fairies. And I am a fairy, but I have very specific rules on my video for this particular contest. I've noticed a lot of people are leaving comments and they're just saying Merry Christmas, but that's not what I'm requiring for my contest winners. So you guys might wanna go back and check that out and make sure your comment is what it needs to be. So that's it. Happy Wednesday or Thursday or Friday or whenever you're watching this. I don't, it doesn't matter to me. Um, but I hope you guys have a great week and I will talk to you later. Bye.